In this tutorial we will discuss square wave voltimetry SWV. Let's discuss with introduction. Square wave voltimetry SWV is a form of linear potential sweep voltimetry that uses a combined square wave and staircase potential applied to a stationary electrode. And it is a large amplitude differential technique. And it has found numerous applications in various fields, including within medicinal and various sensing communities. In a square wave voltametric experiment, the current at a working electrode is measured while the potential between the working electrode and a reference electrode is swept linearly in time. The figure mentioned here shows the waveform and measurement scheme for square wave voltimetry. It consists of applying a symmetric square wave potential to the working electrode which is superimposed on a base staircase potential, a full square wave cycle corresponds to the duration of one step in the staircase waveform and current is sampled twice during each square wave cycle. One at the end of the forward pulse IF and one at the end of the reverse pulse IR. This results in square wave modulation. Reverse pulses causes the reverse reaction of any product formed from the forward pulse. The figure mentioned here shows that the square wave voltimetry SWV is a form of linear potential sweep voltimetry that uses a combined square wave and staircase potential applied to a stationary electrode and potential cycles in square wave voltimetry. The net current that is IF minus IR is plotted against the base staircase potential resulting in peak-shaped voltammogram. This is normally not done at DME and the typical scan rate is much faster than DCP, NPP, and DPV. The peak-shaped voltammogram is symmetric about the half-wave potential. And the peak current is proportional to the concentration. The net current is larger than the forward or reverse currents and the peak potential lies at E half. Despite both the forward and reverse current waveforms having diagnostic worth, it is almost always the case in square wave voltimetry SWV for the Potentiostat software to plot a differential current waveform derived by subtracting the reverse current waveform from the forward current waveform. This differential curve is then plotted against the applied potential. Peaks in the differential current versus applied potential plot are indicative of redox processes, and the magnitudes of the peaks in this plot are proportional to the concentrations of the various redox active species according to. Delta IP is equal to NFAD not to the power 1 by 2 times concentration of species by pi into TP to the power 1 half times delta psi P. Where, delta IP is the differential current peak value, a is the surface area of the electrode, C0 asterisk is the concentration of the species, D0 is the diffusivity of the species, TP is the pulse width, and delta psi P is a dimensionless parameter which gauges the peak height in square wave voltimetry SWV relative to the limiting response in normal pulse voltimetry. Advantages of square wave voltimetry The scan rate is so fast so there is greater speed in analysis, lower consumption of electroactive species in relation to DPV, and reduced problems with blocking of the electrode surface. Since the current is sampled in both the positive and the negative going pulses, peaks corresponding to the oxidation or reduction of the electroactive species at the electrode surface can be obtained in the sum experiment, and by subtraction their differences subtraction also means that the difference current is zero for a species at a potential corresponding to the region of mass transport limited current be very useful, particularly for removing the current due to reduction of dissolve. Oxygen The rapidity means that full square wave voltammograms can be registered in quick succession, chronovoltammograms, and an important application being in electrochemical detection of eluents from high-pressure liquid chromatography columns. This method has higher sensitivity than differential pulse in which reverse current is not used that is usually currents 4 times higher for reversible systems and currents are 3.3 times higher for irreversible systems and low detection limits up to 10 to the power minus 9 molar and reduced analysis time due to higher scan rates that are few seconds compared to similar in 3 minutes for differential pulse. It is more sensitive and much faster than DPP. And it is also better at rejecting background signals such as those generated by reduction of oxygen, etc.